Great to see you here again. My name is Luke de Koster, founder of the Koster Academy. And in this second video, I'm going to talk about the uh, certification preparation exam and training. There are some elements that I want to share before we start with the course so that everything is clear for you. First thing about the PMP exam, uh, questions, time and format. Uh, we have, uh, let's say, the PMP is limited to four hours for 200 questions. Only 175 count. There are 25 test questions. And the time per question is about 20, uh, sorry, 72 seconds. Now, there are typically multiple choice with four possible answers. Only one answer is correct. And there are short and long questions and exercises. When we look at the CAPM exam, there we only have three hours for 150 questions, which is approximately, again, 72 seconds per question. Also here we have only 135 questions that count to the final result and the format is exactly the same like we had before. So it's the same type of format, multiple choice, only one answer. There are short and long questions and of course there are exercises. It depends which exams you're going to take. I just give it here as a general information so if some of you would want to go for the PMP, you understand how it also looks. Now, what type of formats that we have? We have formula-based questions. Uh, we have communication lines, PERT, three-point, earned value, risk, and others. Here you have to prepare by understanding the formulas and the calculations. We did a lot of that in the preparations uh, courses. In other courses, I just come to the essence here very quickly. I'm not going to explain the details of those calculations in the course itself. I assume that you already know those. So it's very important that you're sure that you already understand those different uh, exercises. You can review other uh, courses. You can review some questions and you can improve there. Situation-based exam questions, uh, some real-life simulations. Uh, to see what is important. We have the knowledge-based uh, questions based on the PIMBOK, uh, the ITOs, uh, in, uh, inputs, tools and techniques, and the outputs, groups and processes. There are also some interpretational questions. Uh, we did use a situation based on data, and it means also um, interpretation of results. And there are also technique-based questions, which are typically uh, looking at techniques like precedence diagramming, the calculation of the start and the finish times of the activities, and so on. So that was it, a short introduction in the different types of questions you can expect. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you, and bye-bye.